Hey guys, it's um, Jim here. Uh, I'm just getting a new video software going. I'm just trying it out. Um, so this is just a testing video, so to speak. Let's see if it all works correctly and the sound's not too bad. I'm only using a laptop and a very basic uh, uh, mobile phone headset for a microphone. So there may be some background noise. I'll uh, just quickly run over the method I use. Uh, it's in that book I've been telling you all about and um, I'll try and give you a couple of chart examples here. This is the um, gold USD. It's not a pair I trade that often but it's, it'll, it's, it's a clean chart for me because most of my other charts have got trades on. So I'll just show you the gist of the system. Um, so basically down the bottom here, this is the MACD Platinum. You got these red dots, blue dots, red dots, blue dots, red, blue, you can see it. That's all to look at. Two things to look at, what colour the dot is and where it is in relation to the zero level. This horizontal line here is the zero level. So as you can see, this MACD meanders up over the zero line, back through it, then back through it. So the zero lines, it'll eventually come back to the zero line on every time. So it's like a rubber band, I guess. Further it extends away, the more it wants to come back. But I'll show you examples where that's not quite, doesn't match the trend, but that's that's cool. So what I'm looking to do is take, if there's a red dot above the zero level, I'm looking for sells. If there's a blue dot below the zero level, I'm looking for buys. So I'm going probably the opposite. So red above sells, blue below the zero level, buys. Now that, that's simple, but what I use is this these red and blue dots on price. Uh, it's a QMP filter, and all that is, this QMP filter is just a combination of that and the QQ Advanced. So I'll just add the QQ Advanced to the chart. You don't actually need it on the chart when trading this method. Uh, I lost that, lost that point I was on. Um, but it will um, it'll explain things a bit clearer here. So, for, ex for example, you get a cross on the QQE and you've already had a red dot on the MACD Platinum. So, we don't, the signal's not till we, they're both in sync. So there's a cross there and there's that red dot. So the red dot's just a combination of the MACD Platinum and the QQQE, QQE Advanced. Um, sometimes they happen together, the cross, look, here's one, red dot, cross, all on the same candle, hence the red dot on the QMP filter. So that's, that's all that QMP filter is. So I'll just get rid of that. Hang on, just shoot, it's fine. Chart a bit bigger. So you don't need that on the chart. So, so we get a red dot here on the MACD Platinum. I'm not taking a trade until the red dot on the QMP filter, so it's like a confirmation. So we enter on the open of this candle here, and as you can see, it goes down nicely. Now, the buy is one here, so there's a blue dot here, but there's no blue dot on the QMP, then we have a red dot and another blue dot. So we're still looking for a blue dot, there it is there, take the buy there. Sell, there's a red dot above, QMP, red dot, take the sell. Blue dot, and one candle later, get a blue dot in the QMP, take the buy. Sell, this would have been a loser. Red dot, red dot, take the sell, and look at the trend just kept on going up. But no big deal, so you get stopped out in this level here. Um, there's another one, red dot up here. Remember I said it always goes back to zero level. There's your red dot there. Take the cell there, there she goes, there's a winner there. Um, exits. The, what I'd suggest, if you for the, go back to this example here, you get a red dot there, red dot here, so you take that. Now, price gets this, crosses the zero level, I'd start looking at tightening up, tightening, tightening up stops, or you know, even exit if you've got enough profit, or just boom, you stop to break even. Then your next, Interesting point would be when you get a blue dot either on the MACD Platinum or possibly even the um, QMP, which we've got here. 
Uh, these are all points where you might bring the stock down to above this high here. Generally, a good idea is to wait one candle um, and, it, and just to see what, what price is doing. It might keep on falling in your favour. In that case, you just move your stock to uh, yeah, a, a nice level, comfortable level, technical level. Um, and if you're not out by then, then definitely when MACD crosses back over the zero level, you should be out. So we'll look at this sell example. Uh, here's a sell here. You may have been stopped out here, depending on what method you're trading, um, which is fair enough. There's ways of getting back in the trade to destroy, um, say, say you've stopped out on these candles over here. Hang on a second, bring up across here again. So if your initial stop was, say, for example, in this level here, you would have been stopped out here on these candles. So what I'll be doing is looking at throw it, so you draw my trend line through there. I'll just go across the bottoms of the candles, basically. There's one to stop here. There's your trend line from recent low up through there. And there's a re-entry in that point there. Anywhere in here, you get a re-entry and you probably make up your loss. Uh, again, if it's too close to the zero level, you just want to take that re-entry. As soon as it gets through that zero level there on the MACD, you might want to put your stop at break even. You get the blue dot down here, close out or move your stop again. Another blue dot here, you should be out. If you're not out by then, you'd definitely be out over here when you get this through the zero level. You don't want to be left hanging with a trade. Uh, well, there you go, that's just a quick rundown on the basics of the system. I just want to try this video out, make sure it all works, and I'll explain more depending on how it goes. Cheers, thanks.